Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you Terror World 2023 update features. Same as always, open Terror World from the tools menu up top. You can generate scenes by using our pre-made templates and stylized forest is one of them. A template package which contains various templates is going to be released soon. If you can't see any of the templates, you should click on the sync button so that the software refreshes its templates and load them up for you. But today we have something else to show you. I am going to head to the custom section and load a graph. First, I'm going to click on new in order to remove or reset any graphs that are already loaded. Now I'm going to select and load the graph. This is what we created for you in order to make template creation for you guys way easier. This graph is a general graph which can turn into your own uniquely designed template since it just lacks the object or GPU scatter nodes and it's pretty easy to add those to the graph. I'm going to give a brief explanation of new features in this graph which we call the master graph or the base graph and all the templates use this graph as well so you can look at them as an example to how to expand and finalize the master graph in order to create your own templates. As you can see the UI of the graph has changed and looks more stylish now. Some new keys are added as well. You can disable or enable the node from the top left. You might ask, why not remove the nodes? When you remove a node and change your mind afterwards, you have to add the node again and start setting its parameters right from the start. But by disabling the node, its function is not applied, nor is it totally removed, and this feature saves you a lot of time. The next button is Minimize, which just minimizes the node for taking less space, and it is not a bad option to have in a crowded graph. Next button is Duplicate which, as the name suggests, duplicates the current node with its settings. This key is not different from right-clicking on the node and duplicate the node from that path. Although the duplicated node has a different name from each of these methods, they both do the same function. And the fourth button is for removing the node. The button on the right shows the node's chain, and by the node's chain, we mean all the previous nodes and the path which they are connected to our selected node. The reason that the trace filter is turned off is due to the fact that this node is just used in the canyon-like templates and scenes like Grand Canyon, and you can enable it for mentioned use cases. Height map nodes are connected to the mask nodes, and the mask nodes are connected to the train layers, and at last, train layers are connected to our end node. This last mask node is the node which is going to be connected to your scatter nodes and it has water and all the unnecessary nodes removed from it. Now time to show you some other new nodes which have been added in this new update. This node is time of day which lets you set sun settings before the scene is generated. This one is audio source which is used to play a sound looped or once at the level start. You can use it to add a loop to music or sound effects like wind or sound of a ghost or wave sounds or anything else you wish for. This node is the skybox node which lets you assign skybox for your template and your scenes. Several options and filters have been added to the biome type filter node which one of them is road masks and you can use them for train texturing or object placement. You can see an example of the road created by this node at the end of this video. Now time to generate new scenes with two of our templates and show you the rest of the new features. I'm going to search Matterhorn since it is in Switzerland and it has high resolution data for the height map. I'm going to generate realistic forest template which is added to this project by importing its package manually and you are going to have access to it once the template package is released. Okay, as you can see the scene is generated. Two new options are added on the Terror World object, which might be sent to the settings tab in the future. When Life Sync is on, it will adopt all placed layers in the scene based on the latest sculpting and texturing changes on the train. For example, you have tree layers which are set to be placed between 0 and 5 degrees of the slope on the train, and when the user paints steep heights using brush or stamp tools, the trees will be removed from the steep zones which were previously flat. When graph sync mode is turned on, any changes made on terward layers in scene hierarchy will be saved to the active graph as well, so that they are always in sync and you don't need to go back and forth between scene and graph 
to manually make changes to the layers. As an example, this is GPU scatter number one. I select this scatter from the hierarchy tab under Terworld and GPU instance scatter nodes in order to make changes on the layer. Since I enabled the graph sync option, if I change any of the settings on the layer from the hierarchy tab, the changes will be applied on the node in the graph as well. This means you can save this graph for later and future use. For example, when I change the model distance value, the top warning appears and warns me to click on update changes. You will notice as soon as I click on update changes and hover the mouse over the graph, the value is changed and saved into the node in the graph. This means your changes are saved into the node in your graph. This option works for all the layer options such as rotation or layer settings which I'm going to show now. Now time for a handy feature which lets you see your changes on the scene without generating them. This feature is called Live 3D Preview and it shows you a preview of the train when changing the parameters on the height map and mask nodes along with the interactive map when you change the area. For this, we have converted all the height map processor and mask nodes into GPU nodes with real-time feedback and linked them with a fully GPU based train for real-time visualization for generating the trains. I'm going to start from the height map nodes and the smooth and train node in order to show you this feature. As you can see, once you enable the option, the main train is turned off. And you can see the preview of the changes made on your node and the nodes before that in the chain. So right now, since smooth and train is our first node, we just preview the smooth and train. Now that we are changing the parameters of hydraulic erosion filter, the preview is going to show hydraulic erosion effect and its function on the smoothened train, since the smoothened train node is before this node. And now the trace filter is the last node in this chain, meaning when you change its parameters, the preview is going to apply its function on the train after it has already smoothened the train and applied hydraulic erosion effect and any other nodes in this chain. Another newly introduced node in Terworld is Train Ridges, which sharpens train edges and dilates train details which were previously washed away from the hide map, or generally when you need more details on the surface. As I said earlier, just like hide map nodes, mask nodes will also have previews as well. Here you can see slope mask area on the preview train in real time. And here you can see the real-time preview of the flowway mask filter on the train. As you can see, cavity filter is also added into GPU-based height map area mask nodes, where you can use to filter texturing or placement based on the created mask. Now time to generate our other template, which is a stylish template called Wonderland, and at last, the live preview option also works for the interactive map as well. You can view the preview of the train before generating the scene. Please note that it may take a few seconds for the data to be downloaded for previewing based on your selected area size and resolution. When the auto on option is turned on, as soon as you load your graph, the software is going to start generating your selected area based on the imported graph. The wire style lets you choose the style of the wires, which shows the connection and the chain between the nodes. And show thumbnails lets you choose if you would like to see the thumbnails of the scatter nodes or not. Thanks for watching the video, feel free to ask your questions in the comment section or in our discord server. Until the next video, bye.